This lesson is on writing the domain and range of a continuous graph in set builder notation. Before we begin talking about continuous graphs, let's recall what a discrete graph is. A discrete graph is a graph where the elements or the points on the graph are not connected. They are distinct. So here I have a graph showing the number of songs I purchased on iTunes and how much they cost. So you see when I graphed my set, I did not connect the dots. And that's because they are distinct. And that means that I can only purchase whole numbers of songs. One, two, three, four. I can't purchase three and a half songs. I can't purchase six and seven eighths of a song. So therefore, they're distinct points that aren't connected. And if I were to list the domain and range of this graph, I would choose to do it in set and roster, no, roster notation and list each element of the set, each element of the domain, and each element of the range. I would start from least to greatest and list each element only once. Now we'll be talking about the domain and range of a graph, of a continuous graph. So in that, in this instance, we'll be using writing inequalities. So let's look at how to write an inequality. Here we have x is greater than 1 and x is less than 8. If we graph these two inequalities, this is the solution set. In other words, this is the set of points that will make both of these statements true. So in order to write these two, um, this solution set as a compound inequality, what we would do is we would start with the lowest number in our set, which is 1, the highest number in our set, which is 8, and x is between those. Since these are both solid dots, 8 and 1 are included as a solution. So x is less than or equal to 8, and x is greater than or equal to 1. Now to write it in set builder notation, we take this basic inequality and we're going to bedazzle it with our set builder notation. The first thing we're going to do is put a vertical line in front of it, and then we're going to write the variable we're talking about. In this instance, it's x. And then we're going to enclose this in our French curly braces. So how would we read such a thing? This first part here is the set of X or the set of whatever letter we are. The vertical bar reads represents the word such that, and then we read whatever we're talking about. So in this instance, we would read this as the set of X such that x is less than or equal to 8, and x is greater than or equal to 1. So that, so now we're going to look at a continuous graph. And in this instance, we have a graph of time in minutes and water in bathtub, how many gallons by gallons. So this is a graph of filling the bathtub with water. <clears throat> So if I wanted to write the domain of this graph, since this is continuous or connected, we're going to use an inequality. If it was distinct or discrete, we would just list each point. So here our lowest amount that our domain can be, or our x value, or our time is zero, and the largest amount of time is five minutes, and x is between those. And since we have two solid dots, we know that x is less than and equal to 5, and x is greater than and equal to 0, or 0 is less than or equal to x. That's how we write our domain. Now to bedazzle it with a set builder notation, we would draw a vertical line in front of it. We would put the variable we're using, and then we would enclose it in our French curly braces. Okay? And then we would read this as, oops, we would read this as the set of x such that x is less than or equal to 5 and x is greater than or equal to 0. Put that up there. 
All right, now to write the range, do the same thing, but we'll look at the y values or the range. So in this instance, the lowest value that our graph could be, y value is 0. The highest is 50. And y is between those numbers. y is less than or equal to 50, and y is greater than or equal to 0, or 0 is less than or equal to y. We put a vertical line there. We talk, say what variable we're using, and we enclose it with the French curly braces. And we would read this, the set of y, such that y is less than or equal to 50 and greater than or equal to 0. So let's look at example 1. Here we have a line, and we know a line. Let's talk about the domain of this line. The do, the, this line's domain increases infinitely to the right and infinitely to the left. In other words, it goes from negative infinity to infinity. So if we were to write this in set builder notation, we would say the lowest point on our for our domain is negative infinity. The highest is infinity. We're talking about x, and we're less than. We're not equal to, in this case, with infinity or negative infinity, because you can't equal that. So we just use the less than signs. And now to put it in set builder notation, we draw a vertical line. We write the variable x, and then we enclose it with French curly braces. And we read this, the set of x such that x is less than infinity and x is greater than negative infinity. Well, if we think about that, from negative infinity to infinity is all real numbers. So instead of writing negative infinity to infinity, what we write is this. The set of x such that x is an element of the set of all real numbers. So we use this funny e and this funny r in place of that. So let's look at our range. Our range, okay, this graph falls infinitely to negative infinity. This graph, graph, graph rises infinitely to positive infinity. So again, our range is all real numbers. So we would write it as this. We would say y, funny e, funny r. And we would put in front of it a bar. And then we'd restate the variable that we're using, y. And again, we would enclose it in the French curly braces. But this would be red. The set of y such that y is an element of the set of all real numbers. And this is what it would look like. Example 2. Let's write the domain of this graph. So this graph is going to extend infinitely to the left, infinitely to the right. So this domain is all real numbers again. So x, funny e, funny r. And to put it in set builder, we just add a bar in front of it, restate the variable, and enclose it in the French curly braces. The set of x such that x is an element of the set of all real numbers. Now let's talk about the range or the y values. Well, in this instance, the graph falls from negative infinity, it keeps falling, it keeps falling, and it gets to negative 4, and then it rises up to an infinity. So if we were to think about it, we're going from the smallest the y could be is negative 4. The biggest it could be is infinity and everything in between there. So this is how we would write it. y is less than infinity, and y is greater than or equal to 4 with a vertical line and a y to make it 
um, set builder. But an easier way, a more efficient way to write this is really we're saying that y is greater than or equal to 4. So we would write y is greater than or equal to negative 4. We put a vertical line there, restate the variable, and enclose it in the French curly braces. Example 3. Here we have a sine graph from trigonometry. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add an arrow here and an arrow here. Because this graph, this sine graph, continuously and infinitely repeats. So let's write the domain of this graph. So the domain, this graph will continue to the left infinitely. This graph will continue to the right infinitely. So this, the domain of this graph is all real numbers. So x, funny e, funny r. Vertical bar, x, and enclose it in French curly braces. x, the set of x such that x is an element of the set of all real numbers. Now let's look at our range, or our y values. So here, where our graph is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing to negative 5, then it rises, then it decreases, decreases, decreases to negative 5. So the lowest value on our graph is negative 5. Here, it increases, increases, increases till it gets to 5. Here it increased, increased, increased till it got to 5. So the highest value is 5, and y is less than or equal to that, and y is greater than or equal to that. Again, to make it set builder, we just add a vertical line, the letter y, and some French curly braces. The set of y such that y is less than or equal to 5, and y is greater than or equal to negative 5. Right, you try example four. Find the domain and range of this graph. So the range of this graph is y x is less than or equal to four because the graph goes to the left infinitely, but it's this the furthest right point here is at 4, so x is less than or equal to 4. And y, or the range, is all real numbers because the graph continues infinitely, negative infinitely, and infinitely on the y-axis.